Good morning everyone, my name is Anna Lacroix and I represent Tauron Group. I would like to present you the lecture titled Sources of Project Financing. At the beginning I would like to tell you something about European funds and then I would like to tell you about the conditions required by the institutions granting co-financing and at the end I would like to show you some examples of projects which obtain grants in Tauron Group. The EU's multi-annual financial framework for 2021-2027 provides for a long-term EU budget of 1,074.3 billion euros for the EU countries expressed in 2018 prices. Uh, together with the next generation EU recovery instrument of 750 billion euros, it will allow the EU to provide 1.8 trillion of euros funding over the coming years to support recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic and the EU's long-term priorities across different policy areas. The next long-term budget will cover seven spending areas. You can see them here on the graph. It will provide the framework for the funding of almost 40 EU spending programs in the next seven-year period. The long-term EU budget 2021-27 and recovery package assumes climate and digital mainstreaming. The climate will reach the target of 30% of spending across programs and the digital priority across the programs will reach 20% of recovery and resilience facility. There are many programs and funds under the multiannual financial framework. The cohesion policy here on the left, which is the EU's main investment policy, has five main objectives to drive investments. They are smarter Europe through innovation, digitization, economic transformation and support to small and medium-sized businesses. The second objective is greener, carbon-free Europe, implementing the Paris Agreement and investing in energy transition, renewables and fighting against climate change. There is more connected Europe, with strategic transport and digital networks, more social Europe, delivering the EU pillar of social rights, supporting quality employment, education skills, social inclusion and equal access to healthcare, Europe closer to citizens, by supporting locally led development strategies and sustainable urban development across the EU. Among all of these programs, there are, for example, Horizon Europe, which is the EU's key founding program for research and innovation. There is a Just Transition Fund, the EU's new financial instrument to support areas facing major social economic challenges arising from the transition towards climate neutrality and a program for environmental and climate action life. The life program aims uh, to uh, facilitate the shift towards a sustainable, circular, energy-efficient, renewable energy-based, climate-neutral and resilient economy, protect, restore and improve the quality of the environment, including the air, water and soil, halt and reverse biodiversity loss, tackle the degradation of ecosystems. The support for the energy transition in line with the European Green Deal also comes from the fourth reform of the EU ETS system. In accordance with the revised EU ETS directive in March 2018, two new funds were created. 
the Modernization Fund and the Innovation Fund for the period 2021-2030. The Modernization Fund will support investments to transform energy systems and improve energy efficiency in countries where in 2013 GDP per capita in euro at market prices was below 60% of EU average. The 10 countries are Poland, Bulgaria, Croatia, Czech Republic, Estonia, Hungary, Latvia, Lithuania, Romania and Slovakia. Uh, the fund may not support solid fossil fuel generation sources with the exception of district heating in Romania and Bulgaria. At least 70% of the funds are to be invested in a generation and use of electricity from renewable sources, improving energy efficiency, energy storage, modernization of energy networks, increasing interconnections between member states, social objectives, energy efficiency in transport, construction, agriculture and waste sectors. The second new fund is the Innovation Fund, which can be used by all member states. An Innovation Fund is provided for projects on highly innovative technologies contributing to a significant reduction in emissions, such as carbon capture and utilization, carbon capture and storage, innovative technologies in the field of renewable energy and energy storage. Where to start when you want to receive a grant? Uh, first of all, you need to find the right program for you. Information uh, can be found on the websites of the European Commission, on the government websites or on the websites of the institutions dedicated to providing grants. You can also apply to a professional experienced company providing assistance in obtaining funding. The biggest problem in applying for funding uh, from the European Union is the preparation of the application. The final decision whether you will get the grant depends on this document. It is therefore important that the application is completed correctly. It must contain all the relevant elements and don't forget about possible attachments. Only a set of documents makes a properly completed application meet all the formal requirements. You must also remember to meet the deadline for its submission. Many people are satisfied when they obtain uh, EU funds. However, it should be remembered that the European Union does not forget about the supervision of their use. It is uh, very important to prepare an appropriate report on the use of the funds received. The EU provides funding for a range of projects and programs. It applies strict rules to ensure tight control over how funds are used and what the money is spent in a transparent, accountable manner. Here you can see three questions. What types of funding are available? How the management of EU funding looks like? and who can get EU funding. What types of funding are available? And they are grants partly funded by the EU and partly from other sources that usually follow public announcements known as calls for proposals. Subsidies managed by national and regional authorities, loans, guarantees and equity as forms of financial assistance to support EU policies and programs, prizes to winners. The management can be direct funding managed by the EU usually in a the form of grants for specific projects related to EU policies. You can apply for this type of funding by answering calls for proposals. Shared management, a system of funding managed in partnership with national and regional authorities, accounting for around 80% of the EU budget. And indirect management, funding managed by national and regional authorities, not the EU. 
also known as subsidies. You can apply for this type of funding at national level. And who can get EU funding? Researchers, farmers, rural businesses, small, medium-sized businesses, young people, public bodies, non-governmental, non-profit organizations, and other beneficiaries such as big companies, for example. Here you can see an example of R&D project uh, uh, Power to Gas, CO2 to SNG. The scope of the project covers high efficiency electrolysis of water vapor supported by fuel cells in order to increase the efficiency of the green hydrogen storage in the form of synthetic natural gas with the use of CO2 capture from the power generating unit flue gas. The purpose of the pilot power to gas installation is to test innovative high efficiency technologies for the production of hydrogen and CO2 capture from boiler flue gas. The CO2 and hydrogen obtained this way are blended and transformed into synthetic natural gas using the methanization installation. This will automatically be powered by the surplus of cheap energy generated from the renewable sources during the so-called load valleys when the demand is reduced, for example at night. The technology is a promising solution for storing electricity from non-controllable energy sources, wind farms in particular, the plant of shore farms or photovoltaic cells. The project is sponsored by National Center of Research and Development. Another example of RES project is a photovoltaic farm in Słowice, Dzieckowice. And the project will be one of the largest such installations in Poland. The photovoltaic panels installed uh, will have a capacity of 100 megawatts. Um, the project is a part of Tauron PV program. The program assumes um, the construction of photovoltaic farms. Investments are developed in areas rehabilitated and or requiring a reclamation uh, as a result of long-term industrial activity. These are mainly areas of former power plants or furnace waste landfills. Uh, thanks to the Tauron PV program, these places will be able to restore economic functions again. The investment will be implemented uh, thanks to the funds obtained from the National Fund for Environmental Protection and Water Management. Here you can see an example of microgrid project. And pressed distributed energy model 2.0 self balancing power grid areas. The pilot installation will be equipped with the generation sources, energy storage facility, and a management system, along with advanced network automation solution. It is co financed by the National Center for Research and Development. And here at the end, you can see an example of the project called MobiStyle. This is a technology solution that focuses on motivating behavioral change through ICT-based solutions. The aim of this project is to encourage customers to use electricity and heat effectively, raise awareness and change bad habits in energy management. It is co-financed by Horizon 2020. Thank you very much for your attention and goodbye.